shut us up. <laughs> Art Steph, first race back at South Dakota. Walk me through your day. Well, uh, first race we had a bit of an issue. Our fuel rail, um, we call it bolting fuel rail, so I had a lot of VP race and fuel fumes fill up in the, in the cockpit to the point where I almost started to block out, but I uh, brought it in just to be safe. Uh, second race, uh, started from the back. Well, that was supposed to be a fun race. Started from the back, uh, drove to second. Um, third race, got a really good, uh, clean start. Never started the car like that before, so that, that felt real nice. Uh, but unfortunately, I run it a little too hard into corner one and ended up putting it completely sideways. But uh, I still managed to, I was actually, I managed to hold off Danny, but I may have to pass bad, but managed to hold him off a couple laps. In the end, uh, brought to him a second and a third. So I'm happy with that for the first out in the car. All right, so now what's the next step in, in terms of developing the car? What is your, the learning factor for today? I can use this uh, race meeting as a baseline to develop the car. Um, as I told you before, all of us are actually still an integral part of the development of the car. I also have Brian Tenpo on my side as well. So between those two guys, I should be able to develop the car to a point where it's, I can get it a competitive Group 2 car, and which also runs Group 3. In the Group 3, you ran strictly Group 3 today. I know you had a mixed results, but in terms of the competition in Group 3 and the level of driving in Group 3, as your first race, how did it feel? Honestly, it did phenomenal. It's just, words can't describe jumping back in the seat after how many years, uh, car, well, not karting, not racing at all. So that feeling is, is, is undescribable. Uh, in terms of competition, um, Uncle Paul, like I mean, I've known Uncle Paul for a really long time. Since uh, before I actually started karting, we actually uh, used to do indoor karting in Canada. And he's a phenomenal driver, very, very smooth driver, very consistent. It's very hard to beat him. Um, Ravi, I know he used to do karting in Trinidad. Back when I was living in Trinidad, I actually used to go to one or two kart races where I'd see Ravi as a, as a, as a youth. So, I mean, I know those guys are phenomenal drivers. As I told you, Danny, Danny's Miata is extremely fast. Huh? That Miata is incredible long in a straight line. My little two litre, I don't know if I could, um, I ain't really got a right being in um, the, same, the same straight as them men, but I mean, I think the car did well for itself. And I, I noticed you yourself got a pretty smooth driving style. I mean, your car and speed as well from from what we could see and so on. Because you come from a karting background, so you know how to find time. So how much time would that take for you to find time on the track with your car? Well, everything is time, man. It's, uh, the more, I'm gonna put it this way, the more time you put into a project like this, the better the results. So, I mean, I do plan to put in a lot of time in development into not only the car, but myself. As, I, as you said, I came from karting, and that obviously helped me a lot as a platform for racing and driving by itself. But, I mean, a car is a whole completely different ball game now. And similar driving, but you need to get accustomed to, as I told you before, with the, the weight transfer, to setting up suspension and stuff. I still need to basically get accustomed to that. So once I get accustomed to that, I think I could, I think I could do pretty well. well. How about sponsorship? How is that shaping up for you? Well, right now, um, main sponsor is obviously our own company, Automotive Arts. Uh, but I got a lot of help. All the tools that is um, used to work on this car is Stanley DeWalt. I mean, we are the master distributors, but I actually spoke to the distributor in the States to get them to sponsor me all the tools for the car. So I'm fully sponsored by Stanley DeWalt in terms of tools. Um, well, I want to do a sell job in them, but I mean, phenomenal tools. The power tools makes uh, my crew work 10 times easier, especially on a race day where it's like, high intensity is high pace, where they need any kind of tool to help them get through the job easier. So in, in terms of that, I mean, I, I really want to thank Stanley DeWalt for providing, providing me with those tools to get that job done. All right, well, good luck for the future races and well done today, man. Yeah, no problem.
Tap shot as a bop, bop, bop.